Welcome to the Colorado Audio Video Blog. I'm John Andrade and this is going to be part two of our Luxol AMS switch um, video. So here we have the AMS 1208P. This is a 12 port switch with eight ports of PoE. It is part of the Luxol AV series so all the ports are on the back. Um, we're going to go ahead and unbox this and a closer look. So basically we have a quick setup guide. A little box back here, a little cover. has our power cord, our console cable, rack ears and feet. Go ahead and get the switch unpacked. As we talked about in part one of the video, um, I'm going to be using this on my home network. I'm going to basically be using it to power my IP cameras, but you can use it to power just about any PoE device. It has eight ports of PoE, so that's going to be more than enough for my needs at the moment. And it's going to really look nice in our, in our rack. You know, these AV series switches are just really nice in an AV rack. With, uh, you know, your status lights on the front and all your connections on the back, so your wire management looks really nice. So, just like the 2600, we have our activity lights here on the front. On the back, we have our eight PoE ports. Two additional gigabit, gigabit ports as well as two SFP ports and our console. Here you can also see the a little dip switch to switch your LED colors from blue to green and we have our reset button. So in our last video I noticed that I was getting in the way of the camera um, when showing how to basically set up access um, into the switch. So we're going to go through that one more time. I'm going to try to not block the view so you guys can get a better idea of how we get these set up. So I'm going to go ahead and get our power connected. Power strip here. We're going to go ahead and connect the laptop in and power this on. Now, let's go ahead and move the camera here so we can get a better view of what we're doing. I will try to keep my arms out of the frame. This is a new, new feature for us here at Colorado Audio Video, so we are still working on making it as nice as possible. Back that up just a little bit more. Okay, so basically, what we want to do is we want to come down to network connections. We opened up, you know, basically, we start a control panel. Um, come down to the network and sharing center. We can go over to change adapter settings. We're going to look for our network adapter. Go down to properties. Once we're in properties, we're going to want to select on Internet Protocol version 4. Properties of that. Now we're going to want to change from obtain an IP address automatically to use the following IP address and set that IP address in the range of our switches web GUI. So in the case of the AMS 1208P, its default IP address for the web GUI is 192.168.0.3, which is a little different than the .0.2 of the 2600. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and set our IP to .0 
and dot dot 20 is fine there's nothing else you know connected to this so we'll go ahead and hit OK and then from there we can come back to our web browser and we will set the IP address in the browser to dot zero dot three hit enter and we'll get a prompt for login as we said in the last video the default login for the uh, Luxel switches is admin admin and here we are so once again another nice feature of these is you can get a port state overview see what connections are active we can see that port 1 is active um, that's where we have the laptop connected to so once again we're going to come up here to configuration quick setup system and then over here to IP and we're going to go ahead and change this IP address from dot zero dot three to dot one dot three so it's going to work with the current network addressing scheme we have here at the house we'll come down to the bottom of the page we'll hit save and as in the previous video at this point you're going to get knocked off the connection because now we are in the wrong address range. So we'll come back over here to our network connections tab. We'll come back to the properties and we're going to go ahead and now switch our address to dot one dot twenty. Go ahead and hit OK. Close. Now we should be able to come back up here and go to dot one dot three. And here we are, prompted for our login information. And we're back into the switch. So that's just a brief, you know, getting started of the, uh, for the Luxol switches. Um, basically the next part of our video is going to be getting these set up in the rack. Really looking forward to this. I'm gonna come over here and give you just a quick little teaser. So this is the rack as it stands right now. We have a Synology NAS device up top, a Furman power strip below that, a Dell power connect switch below that, and then below that we have a Cisco 20 port switch, all gigabit, and then an HDMI switcher, and a Crestron CP2 uh, control processor, which you really can't see at the moment, but we'll get some better images of that coming up. And then below that, we have uh, some other devices that we use here at the house, which I'll go into some more depth on as we move forward. But, so that's it for part two of the Luxel AMS series uh, switch unboxing and initial setup. Thanks for watching.